Last week, I spoke to an Amazon seller facing a difficult situation. Amazon is holding around $55,000 of his funds and they're refusing to disperse it. He's tried all the appeals channels with Amazon with no success. His last option is to take Amazon to arbitration, but arbitration costs range from $60,000 to $80,000, making it financially unfeasible for him. Hi. My name is Mario Simonian, and I'm the founding attorney and CEO of ESCO, where we specialize in helping e-commerce sellers navigate the complexities of selling on platforms like Amazon and Walmart. First, let's talk about the cost of arbitration. AAA arbitration can range from $60,000 to $80,000 and has three main categories of fees. First, legal fees. These are the fees you pay to your attorney to represent you in the arbitration process. The second category is gonna be the AAA fees. Think of these as court fees. These fees increase based on the dollar amount of your damages and can range from about $1,725 to about $16,000. Third category, arbitrator fees. In arbitration, there is no judge. Instead, there is an arbitrator who could be a retired judge, an attorney, or a retired attorney. Each arbitrator's hourly rate is different. This hourly fee is split between you and Amazon. Next, let's talk about when arbitration against Amazon does make sense. Typically, it makes sense to arbitrate against Amazon if your damages exceed a minimum of $250,000. When we say damages, this could include things like lost or destroyed or withheld FBA inventory, so the dollar value of that, or the funds that Amazon is withholding from you. Arbitrating against Amazon is not feasible, then what are your options? Option number one, small claims court. Consider filing that small claims court, which Amazon's BSA business solutions agreement does allow. It's gonna be less expensive and less complicated option compared to arbitration, but the disadvantage of small claims court is that they're limited to a maximum claim of $10,000. Option number two, talk to your CPA about possibly writing off the amount that Amazon owes you as bad debt. This could help mitigate the financial impact on your business. Option number three, write to your senator or representative. Reaching out to your local senator or representative can sometimes bring attention to your issue and apply some pressure on Amazon. Option number four, contact regulatory bodies. So file a complaint with consumer protection agencies like the FTC, Federal Trade Commission, in the US, or if you're outside the United States, then the equivalent regulatory body. This pressure can sometimes prompt Amazon to reconsider its stance. Option number five, social media. You can also reach out to the media to share your story. Sometimes media coverage can expedite a resolution and public pressure is always a powerful tool. In conclusion, navigating these disputes with Amazon can be challenging and costly. But remember, you do have options. Explore these creative options and don't hesitate to reach out to us if you need help with anything else. Thank you for watching and if you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe for more insights.